Hello everyone, welcome to the Easy Cash Pro webinar. It's nice to see you again. First of all, thank you all for joining this webinar with me. I'm Li Han. I'm the product manager at Easy Cash Pro team. And today, I'm going to introduce to you something about the Mealcast webinar with the Easy Cash Pro device. And let's have a look at today's agenda. In the first part is the Mealcast webinar. We'll give you guys an overview about the Mealcast webinar and how we implemented this function. And the second part is the settings and demos. We'll go through the configuration step by step and give you guys a live demonstration about the Mealcast split mode. And the last part is the Q&A time. We have collected the most frequently asked questions submitted by our customers. And we'll answer all those questions each by each. Now, I'm going to introduce the feature of the Mealcast split mode. At the early stage of the EZCast Pro series, the Mealcast currently supports one device connecting with the EZCast Pros, as Mealcast protocol is intended for the peer-to-peer -peer usage. Now, with the unique feature of the Mealcast Big Screen capability, we could support up to four users sharing one monitor via the Mealcast protocol. However, you might be wondering that if I want to share my screen content, but I only have a MacBook or Chromebook that doesn't have the Mealcast protocol. Could I also take advantage of the Mealcast Switch Screen protocol? The answer is yes. The Mealcast Switch Screen mode is 100% compatible with other platforms or operating systems, for instance, like AirPlay from MacBook or Googlecast from Chromebook. And one little thing I wanted to remind you is that the earlier version of the EasyCast Pro is not supported for the Mealcast Switch Screen mode. Please note that you need to have either EasyCast Pro Download 2 or EasyCast Pro Box 2 and make sure the firmware version is 1.12170.7 or the version above. Before we start, allow me to explain a bit more on the technical perspective of the Mealcast Switch mode. As you see in the chart, we divide the wireless LAN card into three virtual wireless LAN cards. The blue band zero in the station mode it allows users to discover EasyCast Pro devices via router. WLAN 1. In the software team mode, it allows users to build direct connections with the EasyCast Pro devices. WLAN 2. In the peer-to-peer -peer mode, it allows users to establish Mealcast connections with the EasyCast Pro device. However, before we implemented the Mealcast split mode function, the WLAN 2 cannot coexist with WLAN 0 and WLAN 1, which means that when mirroring with the Mealcast, the other devices cannot discover EasyCast Pro devices either from router or direct connections. Once we open up the Mealcast Big Mode, the wireless LAN card is divided into two virtual wireless LAN cards. WLAN 0, like the existing WLAN 0, in the station mode, the device can support via router connection as usual. WLAN 1. After enabling AGO mode, the software mode no longer existed. WLAN 2. After switching to AGO mode, now we support peer-to-peer -peer and peer-to-peer -peer direct mode. Now, let's move on to the Mealcast Switch Display settings and tutorial. First, connect EasyCast Pro device to your laptop. The EasyCast Pro SSID will show in the Wi-Fi list. You'll see the SSID and the Wi-Fi password at the upper side of the landing page. Then we go to EasyCast Pro web settings. Please open the web browser and enter the default IP address. You'll find the IP address at the bottom side of the landing page. Once you log in as admin users, we move to device management and select Miracast. You'll see the Switch Display supported options. Please note that the Mirrorcast Switch Screen mode will be applied after the device is rebooted. It's time to mirror with your Mirrorcast device. Let's see how to mirror with your Windows laptop. All you need to do is press Windows plus K, and you'll find the EasyCast Pro device in the manual bar. And select the EasyCast Pro device, and the screen content will be mirrored to the larger screen immediately. Now, let's have a look how to add an Android device to it. Simply go to the control center, and you'll find the smart view 
or wireless display option. Click on it and your device are ready to go. Most of the Android devices are built with Miracast, just to make sure that your Android device supports it. So, when everything is ready, now you can feel free to share the screen content with your co-workers. The feature of Miracast split screen mode allows you to compare data from different sources, which highly improves the efficiency of the meeting. And also, everyone in the meeting room are feel free to share the screen content for data in the way they want. Now I'm going to answer some frequently asked questions submitted by our customer. Then, after the introduction, if you still have some questions for us, please feel free to leave us your questions in the chat room, or you can contact EasyCast Porting directly via email. Now, let's get started. How many devices can Miracast Split Mode support? The feature can support up to four sources sharing one screen at a time and for both android device and windows laptop can work simultaneously next question can your cast support one to many multicasting your cast is a one-to-one -one mirroring solution so for one to many multicasting applications you need to install multiple easy cast pro 2 or easy cast pro box 2 then run our forecast app next question What's the difference between NGO mode and AGO mode? The main difference is that NGO mode could only support one device, while the AGO mode could support the features of up to four this displays via Miracast protocol. The, the second difference is that when switching to the AGO mode, the connection between the router and the EasyCast Pro device won't be disconnected. Next question, on what kinds of device or platforms can take advantage of the AGO mode, aka the Miracast split mode? So, besides the Android device and Windows laptop operating systems like macOS, iOS, or even Chrome OS, they can, take, they can also take advantage of the new features. For instance, they can join the split mode with the Miracast device without using any application. Next question, does this support Miracast over infrastructure? The answer is no. The Miracast infrastructure mode is not supported in our current solution. You can use bar router connections to achieve the same result. Next question, why does the SSID add a direct prefix after I turn on the Miracast AGO mode? Can I remove the SSID prefix? That's the limitation for a Miracast AGO mode. So, if that's not okay for you, it's fine that you can switch back to NGO mode anytime. Next question. Do I need to reset the admin password after turning on the Miracast AGO mode? The admin password remains the same for your convenience. There's no need to reset when switching back to NGO mode or AGO mode. Next question. Does the pin code also apply to the Miracast AGO mode? Yes, of course, it works as usual. Next question. How's the performance of the Miracast AGO mode? What's the latency of the Miracast AGO mode? So, for most scenarios, the latency is between 80 to 100 milliseconds, which is not a very noticeable or visible latency. So, that's the end for our today's QA time. If you'd like to check out the webinar again or other related content, you can feel free to check out our YouTube channel. Or if you have any other further questions about our Miracast split screen mode, please feel free to email us directly. Thank you for your time today. We look forward to see you at the next webinar.